What I like about Victron is you customize a system that's catered exactly to your application. Today we have over a thousand SKUs and uh, quite a bit of options in, in your build yeah, for off-grid and autonomous systems. This 200 amp hour battery, for instance, do 400 amps continuous. For value, uh, you can do the math, but lithium iron, iron phosphate is an excellent, safe chemistry and one that can last many years. The technology for cells uh, that we use have, has improved and, and will continue to improve, so they've actually gotten smaller, more condensed, and, and more powerful. Uh, this is why our batteries might carry a higher premium, but uh, you know they work really well. We support our warranty very well, up to three years on our lithiums. It's important when you receive and commission our battery to put a trickle charge on the battery overnight so we can bring up the state of charge to 100% and also balance the cells. With that said, um, storage is longer than a lead acid battery. If you're leaving this on the shelf, it can stay at a at its state of charge for about a year. Should I put my Victron batteries under my vehicle to save space so I have room inside for my coffee machine or my three refrigerators or my sewing machine or my oven? Or you can put a battery anywhere so long as it's protected, you know, okay. in an enclosure. If it's underneath the vehicle, it, it should be water tight. We don't recommend putting our batteries on its side. Uh, they should be upright uh, in the installation. A little space between them helps keep them cooler if they're discharged quickly mm. and, and charged quickly. We have done some numerous videos. You can go to Victron Professional I and mean, you can view these videos that show different tests of, of freezing the battery oh. yeah, and uh, alternator charging with uh, our batteries and why you need a regulator between the battery and the alternator. These are very important things for lithium. And you also said you can string these batteries together up to 20 batteries. Right, the old rule was five. If you have 20 batteries together. Yes, sir. And one of the cells inside one of the batteries reports a problem. Yeah. It uses the M8 cable to tell the BMS to stop charging. Correct, yes, and, and it can be just one cell in the whole string. Internal BMSs versus external BMSs. What would be some reasons why you'd want an internal or an external BMS? Well, I guess simplicity, it would be easier to drop in a battery, any battery. We have more, I believe, control and, and uh, you know, would you say, visibility of the battery with an external BMS, but also we can make the form factor smaller. So this battery would actually have a bigger form factor with an internal BMS. I've seen uh, a lot of builders are using external thermostats for their fans for their inverter space so that the, they can kick on. I've never seen somebody use the servo basically as the relay to turn on the fan based on temperature, but it's just a brilliant idea. But also you can do that with the MultiPlus or Quattro inverter charger. You can activate an external fan using an assistant in the programming to start the fan when the inverter charger fan starts. Now, he may have said it, but I'm stealing that idea. And also when you're installing, and there are a lot of DIYers out there, make sure you're using uh, insulated tools. You know, batteries are very powerful. A short could cost you your life. So be careful, remove any rings or jewelry that you're using if you're near this kind of equipment. Uh, and be safe. You Where, don't want to lean over it with a necklace. Oh, well, no. that'd be the worst. Okay. And, and also, you know, anything that, that's metal shouldn't be near it and, and you should be safe. You should wear eye protection. Well, the future is lithium and, you know, that's, that's going to happen. You know, in 20 years time, our founder is uh, convinced that everything's going to be lithium uh, in the future. So be prepared. I think the cost will also go down as in time as we uh, improve the technology. The future is lithium. <laughs> Guys, thanks it's for here. watching this video <laughs> with Jonathan and Alan from Victron. Guys, if you want to go further into the future with lithium, let's uh, let's go blue.